Hello, welcome back. Steel Pinnings here once again. And today I have for y'all, I was cleaning out my naughty bucket because I was inspired by Mr. Bill Bacardi uh, making a hell of a point about locks sitting in the naughty bucket. And I have a couple, a few in mind that um, are ones that I've bought pretty much, um, that are high security locks that I haven't been able to, to open yet, and, um, I do have a few challenge locks that usually go in and, and come out throughout, but I seldom even get them on camera because I can't stand to the trial and errors on picking and then having to go through delete which ones I've deleted good videos in, in mistake and it just it's a big pain in my side so you know I, I pick a lot of locks without the camera because you know it's 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 my fun right yeah you know, I'm picking and, and I didn't think to set the camera up and I've had people tell me you know tie a string around your finger everything else to make it you know like a diet type of thing stick with it and I uh, I was inspired by Bill because he even mentioned he's made over 160 challenge locks and, and seen maybe 60 of them pick, which means there's likely 100 of his locks in people's naughty buckets. And I was looking through mine, and um, I don't have any more of his, thank goodness. I'm not the culprit. I, uh, I just picked and sent one of his out um, so that I don't have it stuck in my naughty bucket i have uh, a few other locks going together for uh, overseas shipments to uh, t and j and in germany and and don's locks in in australia i'd like to see if uh, don can forward for me as well but it all depends on the size of the package of course shipping's a monster everybody knows that so anyway I was going through the naughty bucket and I was going to clear it out because they deserved they deserved more. People put a lot of work into them and they deserve to be picked on and enjoyed and picked on and screamed at and not sitting in a dark bucket. So I um I was digging through mine and I had a couple of them that were tied together here and that's this Ilco with a mummied key. From Late Night Lock Picker. It's his number three uh, 100 subscriber uh, lock. And then tied to it was the number four 100 subscriber giveaway lock. But this one had no key, had a little sticker on it, no key. After I picked it, I couldn't help myself, so I cut a key to match it. So now it has a key too. So nonetheless, uh, that leaves these two locks here. And I figured I'd see if I can get them on camera. I picked them once before, and they they're in a they were in a an outgoing bucket. But uh, I wanted to see if I could pick it on camera, just to show a little bit of um, camaraderie and and give the spoils to late night lock picker. I mean, it's a hell of a lock, and yeah, I'd like people to see it too. Uh, one other little thing I've done is uh, I made new pick handles. These here are very large for the ergonomic picker with arthritis. Uh, let me uh, back out here. Let's do this. This is for the ergonomic picker so that it fits in your hand nicely. It gives you plenty of room. You can pick it European style downward or you can pick it US style upward. This one has my deforced in it and uh, I can even make them a little longer or even um, cut them to fit other people's hands my hands a little large uh, I can do um, etching into it as well that would give it more of the wood grain um, none of this was in it I put it all in but I did it real quick it could be done a lot better I was going to make a cross on the end of it but it broke because I was using a power tool rather than a file or anything so nonetheless it's a work in progress but it's a heck of a pick for bigger hands and uh, I'm gonna give it a try on this one so without further ado 
Uh, let's see. Have this tension wrench here. Is it gonna fit? Kinda. Gives it no play. Nah. It's too iffy. About my hammer. That's too loose. How about the fifty thousands. Yeah, good enough. Okay. So we'll zoom in a bit. Well, we're starting this one off at five and a half minutes. So let's get at it. We got number one solid bound. Loosen up. That's two. Three feels a little loose, but gave a little click. Go back to two and one. Yeah. Keep going. Four. Gave me two clicks and some counter. Kind of bouncing on it. It wants a little bit more. My heavens. All right. Let's feel this out, man. Go this way with it. Maybe we're already in a false set. We can just get some counter rotation and move right along. That's one and two gives us a click and a little deeper. Some counter rotation, so we'll send it on home. Back to one gives us counter. There we go. This one will be three. Back to two. And of course back to one. There. Four dropped us even deeper. Looks like, is that one again? Counter. Okay, so one feels set. No. Something. I felt something. Alright, so we're not going to mess with that one. Two feels set. Three feels set. Four feels set. And even five. Moving down the line. Just checking to see if I am actually hitting that pin. I keep losing that tension wrench. I ain't gonna get this thing open at all, am I? <laughs> Three, two, one again. What in the heck, man? All right, I'm gonna try bottom of the keyway tension on it. See if that allows me a little more play. One feels set now. Two and then one again. So that was three, two, one, and back to three. Mm. 
Nothing feels binding. Let's try this way. A lot of click and pop off of a lot, but that dropped us into a deeper set. Did it. Knew it was that. <laughs> Alright, well, without um sorry. Without messing up the thing by going too far over, let's uh see if we can get into it here. Push since we loosened it. Well, we'll want to unmummy the key for it, anyways. We've seen other people complain about these clip removers because they have to be damn near perfect size. All right. I got our little pin and tray. Let me uh, move these old springs out of here. Let's get them over there. I need to unmummy the key. Is this one of them quick releases, maybe? Yes. There's the bidding on the key. It's a pretty normal bidding. It works the lock beautifully. Do a little turn and get a follower. There we go. Almost shoved it right through there. There it is in and working. Let's focus. There we go. Lots of work done to that thing. There we go. Alright, well, let's dump them out and get a closer look. Um, standard. Uh, a serrated T pin. A serrated deep spool a serrated little one and a really serrated medium one and to the core is threaded in one two come on focus right there we go one two widened in three nothing in four serrated in five all right, let's see what's up top side, right? There's a little bitty, crazy little spooled, serrated spool with a tiny little spring. And there is another serrated spool, not quite as deep, with another tiny little spring. There's a deep, deep spool with stages. Ah, another spring. Ah, dang, we're going to have to get a good look at these because he did a lot of work to them. They're beautiful. Awesome. And threading in, oh boy, three, or no, four and five. There we go. Okay. The heck with the picture, man. Come on, silly camera. Don't y'all hate working with new cameras? Alright, let's dive in for a closer peek here. That. And nice and close. Now, one on the bottom there is standard. And up top, we have a really cool looking. Let me. Get a good close up here. There we go. And as you can see, it is quite extravagant. A lot of different layers. 
Number two is quite the same. A lot of different little bitty thin cuts. Three is a deep, deep spool with a barreled center with serration. Four is a great valved style serrated spool. And number five is a deep serrated T pin. On the bottom of that one is a sharp, sharp, tiny serrated T pin. That little bitty serrated that I mentioned in three or four. Three is a super deep spooled bomber. And number two is a serrated T pin. It goes in like that. Beautiful little lock there, late night lock picker. I appreciate my chance at working on it. I'm going to go ahead and send this one here with it, with the new key. Um, that way it can be uh, still together. You know what I mean? Y'all, thank you so much for joining me. Please stay safe and always stay legit. If you like this video and like what I do here, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And until we meet again, peace.